Hi! In this video you will learn how to perfectly apply cream foundation with the brush for a natural finish. Now, not only is cream foundation known for the great coverage that it can give you, but it's also great for people who have, for example, a dry skin type, as those cream foundations are a bit waxier, which means that it can give you a dewier finish and also smoother application. But of course, not only people with dry skin can use cream foundations. I mean, every skin type can use them. And so I'm going to start with the tools that you will need. Starting off with a suitable moisturizer that's good for your skin type. Then of course, also using the cream foundation. Then using a foundation brush, which is a dense foundation brush, which means that the bristles are densely packed. This can be either with a round shape or flat shape. Both will do the same job. The main important part is that the bristles are close together. And then depending on your skin type, you might also want to secure your makeup application with a bit of translucent powder or face powder that's suitable with your skin tone and also a powder brush. So let's get started with the first step. Now starting off with a good moisturizer is really important, especially if you have, for example, a drier skin type, then it can help you to smoothen any dry patches that you might have on your skin. And it's also going to make the application for the cream foundation a bit easier. Of course, make sure that you're using a suitable moisturizer for your skin type. What's really important is that this step will prepare you before you're applying the cream foundation. And it also will help you later on to make the application for your foundation easier as it has a bit of a slip. Now once the moisturizer is on, we now can move on to the next step, which is applying the cream foundation. Now cream foundations can come in jars, in little compacts or also in stick form. I have the one that's in the jar and I'm also going to use the foundation brush with a flat surface just because those will fit beautifully into each other. Now there are two ways on how you can apply your cream foundation as it also depends on the texture of the cream foundation. Some cream foundations are very soft which you can easily apply with the brush like directly dig into the um, compact and then apply it or if it's a little bit stiffer and you want to smoothen it out and also make it a little bit like a softer so that the application is a bit easier, you can also take um, like a spatula or something where you can basically get a little bit of product out of the compact and then put it onto your hands to warm it up. Like both ways are totally fine. If you're doing the um, application on yourself, you directly can also use it from the jar. Now I'm going to show you two ways. So you can take a bit on your hands and then just smoothen it with your finger so that it gets a little bit warmer because of the heat of your back of your hand and your finger and then you have a smoother application or which I personally like to do uh, with this cream foundation going directly into the jar so that I can apply it. Also make sure that if you're going to use a cream foundation that it's also going to match with your skin tone which you can also test right here for your uh, cheek area as well as jawline. And so if you're going to use a bit and you're going to blend it into the skin, it should melt in with your skin color and you should be noticing where you have applied it. And if the color is going to melt into your skin tone color, then it's the right shade. And so I'm now going to take a bit from the jar onto the brush and what I would recommend you is that you're going to start from the center of your face. So, which means going close to the apples of your cheeks, bit on the chin and onto, onto your forehead. And then from there on, you're going to use circular motions and blend the foundation into the skin. 
If you need more, you can always go back and add more product, but make sure that you're not going to use too much because a cream foundation has already a high coverage. So we want to make it appear natural, which means that some areas your skin still can look through, but it also should cover up certain areas where you might have a little bit more of a problematic skin. So once you have applied it evenly all over the face and you are still seeing some areas where you need to add a little bit of concealer or go back into the cream foundation, then you can also do this by just using your fingers and only spot conceal those areas. Because we want to achieve a natural finish, it's important that you're not going to cover up your entire face with such a layer of cream foundation as it does give you already a pretty good coverage on its own. So what I'm going to do with the certain breakouts that I still have that are a little bit more visible, go ahead, get a little bit on your finger and then you can basically cover them up just with your finger and only keep a little bit of a higher coverage to those areas. So now once you have applied it all over the face and you're happy with the finish, keep in mind that this is only the base, like you haven't applied any concealer, eyeshadow whatsoever. This is only on how you really can naturally apply cream foundation. And so once you have applied it and you also maybe want to go in with a bit of concealer, go ahead and do so. But what's really important is that because certain cream foundations are a bit waxier and depending also on your skin type, you want to use also a little bit of face powder and also a powder brush as then you can secure the makeup and it also will last all day long. And so what you can do is just go ahead, get a bit on a brush and then you just can apply it also on the main areas where you also might want to get a little bit oilier or also if you have used concealer before powdering your face then you can also use the powder to secure your concealer areas as well. Now and this is basically how you can apply cream foundation with a brush to achieve a natural finish. And it's so easy if you're using a good moisturizer underneath that will basically um, make the foundation slip on so that you can blend it out evenly. And if you're still seeing your skin looking through, that's totally fine. That's what we are about, about a natural finish. And so the main issue is that you're going to use a little bit more coverage to certain areas where you have some blemishes or breakouts and then you're totally fine. What you want to achieve is that you have an even out skin tone so that you then can go ahead with a bit of blush, lipstick and mascara. 
Now I also do hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!